Holy shit. This video got uploaded by this guy named Nice saying fuck Keemstar in Friday Fortnite, where he goes on to say this shit. First of all, let's just look at the description. Tired of this racist scumbag leaking into the scene and people trying to promote this content creator circle jerk tournament. First of all, leaking into the scene, leaking into the scene. Let's talk about that for a minute. First of all, I've been a gaming entertainer since 2009 on YouTube. You motherfuckers with no views and no relevancies, you know, the 82,000 subscribers, you jumped onto this fucking bandwagon after the wave was created by much popular people. I was pushing Fortnite day one. It's like, there's just so much, there's just so much wrong with the dude um, in terms of like what he brings to the table as a, as a content creator. <laughs> and really, I'm only bringing this up to point out um, that I think the only reason that he existed in the first place in the Fortnite community is because regardless of what, you know, regardless of how fucked up the student, and he sucks. I mean, he fucking sucks. He's a scumbag. Yeah. But regardless of okay. all that, he was one of the first guys to recognize that there was a, a hole in the market for competitive uh, tournaments. So naturally, because of his connections through YouTube, and he's a massive YouTuber. Scumbag. Okay, listen, listen, okay. I didn't recognize there was a hole in the competitive scene. Fucking many gaming YouTubers who built this fucking community. Not you. You're you're late to the game. You're a little straggler, all right? That is jumping on the bandwagon of something that we've built for years, this gaming community. Those other creators came to me and asked me to create this. I didn't fucking recognize or try to exploit or any of that bullshit. And we lost money doing it. It was for the community's entertainment. When you care about your fans so much that you're willing to lose money to entertain them, maybe you'll be on my level and you won't be sitting at 82,000 subs, niece, you fucking loser. And let me just end this with, dude, I think you need to lay off the drugs and get some vitamin C. You look fucking ghostly, bro. Um, it wasn't a problem initially because Epic Games wasn't running any events. Um, there was nothing else that was an option. And unfortunately, as shitty as Keemstar as a person is, um, there really wasn't anything else for people to, for anybody to compete in. But the problem and the common criticism of this, this format was, very simply, if you didn't have a, a YouTube following over like, you know, 200,000 subscribers or whatever, or Keemstar doesn't like you, um, you're not playing in this. So essentially all this tournament wound up being was just a way for established content creators, people that don't need money, to collect dead money. And what this- There it is right there. People that don't need money. Listen, Friday Fortnite was an entertainment tournament put together and organized for viewers enter Entertainment, because this is the gaming entertainment business. I don't know if you know that. Even if you're in esports, it is gaming entertainment. And people like you got super salty because you thought, I'm so good at the game, but I'm not being invited to Friday Fortnite. Well, you don't pull views. You're not entertaining. Not that many people are fucking tuning in to watch you. But those other peoples that put their heart and soul into this, that built huge followings, yes, they, they can bring an audience they deserved a fucking platform like friday fortnite they deserved to have a role in entertaining the community but you don't and you're salty about it and you know what quite frankly it sounds like you're poor all right because that little comment like they didn't need the money it sounds like you need money bro that's what it sounds like to me and all that says is that you're an unsuccessful person and a wise man in this community that helped build this community once said, if you hate on success, success is going to hate on you. And this tweet is nothing but hate back, motherfucker. So what did this wind up doing? Essentially, all this wound up doing was making a scenario where the actually good players, like the top players, the, the absolute tip top players that may not have had a big social media following from other games or what have you, um, they had no chance to compete. And you were getting this misinformation of like, oh, look at Myth, look at Ninja. These guys are the best of the best of the best. And they never were, right? Like maybe they were a long time ago, but they weren't. In, 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 in the context of this tournament, they were campaigned and championed as like the absolute best of the best players. So it was a very disingenuous thing. It was super frustrating to people that played this game seriously. 
and, and, and knew that the game was more than just pub stomping. So what you wound up happening was you would constantly, every week, have a bunch of players that were not invited off of any merit, really, and they would, time and time again, they would take home prize pools. They would take home dead money and would frustrate the other players, and we would have no way to showcase our skills. So now... Okay. No way to showcase your skills. Okay. Now we have gotten to the root of what this video is about and what your tiers are about. First of all, you do have a way to showcase your skills, all right? Ninja and Myth built giant followings off of entertaining fans in gaming entertainment. You have a YouTube channel, you have a Twitch, but you want everyone else to fucking give you a platform. You want to be given the platform. You don't want to fucking earn it. That is fucking pathetic. Every time one of you serious gaming fucking esport pro type people hate on gaming entertainers you are biting the hand that feeds you because if you one day get attention right for being good at this game those fans are not coming from nowhere they're coming from the people that built the fucking community like myth and ninja fuck you what are you doing on my street corner begging for attention you don't deserve it fuck you and for everything you fucking stand for you fucking loser Nice, you had a lot of shit to say about me and you don't even fucking know me. And the root of it is just jealousy. Fuck you, all right? If you want views, earn them, bitch. Bro, bro, this motherfucker, I'm not even, I'm seven minutes into this video. I'm not even finished with the video. Listen to this shit, what this motherfucker is about to say. It's a very frustrating thing to see time and time again. Um, as somebody who's basically worked my way up from nothing. I've gotten no help. Uh, Everybody has worked their way up from nothing. Everybody. Uh, getting my Fortnite brand off the ground. I have, if anything, I've gotten negative help because of my affiliation with League and the fact that I've had to deal with losing Poor subs, him. which YouTube algorithm does not like. Um, Poor him. It's pretty frustrating working so hard and putting in the effort to be better than these people that are constantly being marketed as the absolute cream of the crop that haven't really done anything to earn it. Haven't done anything to earn it. Haven't done anything to earn it. <laughs> I see guys like Ninja and Myth fucking working their ass off nonstop. Dude, if anybody makes it in gaming entertainment, you made it because you worked your fucking ass off and every fucking YouTuber and every streamer will testify to that. They haven't done anything to earn it. This salt, if you, listen, right now, if you support this dude, if you're a sub to this dude, if you're a fan of this dude, unsub to me, unfollow me now. I want nothing to do with you people that have this line of thinking. Fuck all of you. You are a disgrace to the fucking gaming community as a whole. Fuck you. I mean, I don't care. I don't care about some little... First of all, I'm not little. I'm not little at all. I'm, I'm very big. Some little... This dude's, this dude's an adult male who runs a drama channel. And, and this is the person that we're going to be trying to... We're going to be we're gonna be giving uh, a platform on Fortnite. Okay. Nobody gave me a platform on Fortnite, all right? No one's given me a platform. This is my Twitter with 2.5 million followers. I have a YouTube channel with 4 million subscribers. Fortnite didn't give me this platform. This is my platform that I used to promote Fortnite since day one, all right? <laughs> day one. Here's my PlayStation receipt for purchasing Fortnite the day it came out. Here's me hitting up Post Malone to play Fortnite. September 2017. Here's me the next month in October playing Fortnite. When the game came out and I started promoting it and tweeting about it and talking about it, I used to get shit on, oh, that's a kid's game, that's a joke. Before Fortnite was popular, when Fortnite first came out, people were fucking talking shit about it. Somehow in this little stupid brain of this creature, he thinks, all right, because I ran a Fortnite tournament, I, I became popular. What? What? Who the fuck are you? And this whole thing with he runs a drama channel. No, I run a news channel called Drama Alert. 
and quite frankly, a very successful news channel. This whole idea where you're saying, oh, we're going to give him a platform is a fucking joke, niece. Okay, like you represent that many people, 82,000. I represent over 6 million with my Twitter and YouTube combined. Whose platform is it? Whose world do we live in? Yours or mine? Mine, bitch. Oh, we're not done with this bitch niece. All right, 12 minutes in. Guys, I will go all the way to 19 minutes, all right? If you want me to respond to every one of the shitty motherfuckers' points, uh, just retweet. All right, listen to this. I must say Alex Jones is this dude. He's not going to go anywhere. Out of all the fucked up shit he did, there's no accountability. What fucked up like, shit? It just it just blows my mind. And it, it's frustrating to me because there just seems to be no more moral, like, barometer. And even the Fortnite guys, it made me sad to see a lot of Fortnite guys that I know. Uh, supporting this crap out loud on their brands being like, well, it's not, it's, it's, it's not that big a deal, you know? I mean, don't be mad at Keem for learning that. It's like, yeah, dude, they, they really should be. And the only reason that you wouldn't hold them accountable on your brand is because you're getting free money from it. And it's pretty Okay, cool. okay. They're getting free money from it. Dude, it was a $20,000 tournament. I'm sorry, but this just goes to show your financial situation. Because guys like Ninja, multi-millionaires, guys like Myth, multi-millionaires don't need to play for a measly $20,000 when the winner only gets 10 grand. That is nothing. These guys do that in donations. Like, what are you even saying? Oh, they only did this tournament with Keemstar because there was money there. It was free money. No, that doesn't make any fucking sense what you're saying. You are a fucking joke. Everything you're spewing is jealousy and, quite frankly, retardation. You're a retard. And then here's the best part. From it. And it's pretty sad what money does to people. Dude. It's pretty sad what money does to people. Earlier in this fucking thing... All right, you were complaining that you couldn't get invited. And if you were invited to play in Friday Fortnite, you would have. You said it in this video. But all of a sudden, it's sad that these people were in it just for the money. You would have been in it, you dumb fuck. You admitted it. You are a complete joke. You are a fraud, a fake. You are not real. You don't have any fucking moral high ground to stand on. And if you did, I've kicked out the chair and you're swinging, buddy. Logan Paul, get over here and film. Bye, niece. 14 minutes in. Let's see what niece has to say. Won't speak out. These big content creators won't speak out. They won't say anything about it. They won't say anything bad about it because they know if they say anything bad about it, then here's what Keemstar does. Keemstar sees this video. <clears throat> if he sees my video, He's gonna get salty about it. He's gonna he's gonna talk shit about me, right? Well, yeah, I'm gonna get salty about it because you misrepresented me. You misrepresented Friday Fortnite. You misrepresented Ninja Myth and pretty much everybody in the tournament. But yeah, go ahead. What what type of fucked up shit are you gonna try to do to me, right? You gonna try to DDoS me? You gonna try to release my address? I, this guy's a scumbag. This I'm gonna guy. try to DDoS him and release his address. That's what you said. That's what you think. No, I'm just going to respond to you. I'm going to make you look fucking stupid. I'm going to I'm going to uh, give you counterpoints that make you look like a complete joke and you do look like a complete salty jealous joke. And that's it. This whole like victim card of like, uh, uh, I'm a crusader and I'm going against the grain and I'm going to get DDoS and I'm going to get doxxed because of this. That is so fucking fake. You are a fraud. It's my address. I, this guy's a scumbag. This is the type of stuff that he did before. Okay. What he's referring to is a guy who swatted my house multiple times where I live with my family, with my daughter. A guy swatted my house. He was swatting the moderators on my stream. He was swatting freaking just people in my chat and doxing them. So what we did as a stream together is we tried to locate the criminal to report him to the authorities. Now in 2016, someone took that clip of us trying to find this guy and figure out who he was. And they spun it around saying that I was doxing and swatting people. This idiot right here just saw some fucking bullshit exposed Keemstar propaganda from 2016 and actually believes it. What a complete fucking moron.